Hi, so in video 1267 we used this stuff, which is chalk. We burnt it, made quick climb, added water and used that heat of reaction to run this, which is a little Stirling engine. Now it's a heat engine, so it's going to be governed by the Carnot efficiency, so it's not going to be terribly, terribly efficient. Of course not, all heat engines are like that. However, there is a really interesting way to look at getting some energy out of that very hot reaction. And to do that, you really need one of these, because hiding in here is something called a Peltier device. To get that device out, we just need to unscrew this. And we take the back off, and there it is. Now, this is a 12-volt little mini-fridge, and a lot of these little electronic mini-fridges are like this. Now, underneath there is the Peltier device. Now, Peltier device is a lot of NMP silicon that has a hot side and a cold side. Now, if you apply heat to the hot side and keep the cold side cold, it will generate electricity. Equally, if you apply electricity, it will create a hot and cold side, which is exactly what's happening here. So if the cold side facing this box with the mini fridges and the hot side is on this, so the heat can be radiated away. What we're after is under here, so we just unscrew that and take it out. Okay, so that's it pulled out. Now this big aluminium block is the bit that went into the mini fridge and it was the cold side. And then on this side, we had this heat sink and I've kept the heat sink because it fastens rather nicely there on the device. So now we've got it out. We don't only have to use this for heating and cooling a device by putting power in. If we do the reverse, power will come out. So if I pop it there and there is my quick lime, just pop that on top. Remember that's the burnt chalk. And what I've done is just attach it to a motor. So if we attach that to a motor and then pour some water into that quick lime, this will get hot. The other side will stay cold and that motor will begin to spin. I think that's absolutely awesome actually. So let's put some water on there. There we go, already spinning away. And it's spinning really quickly because this is getting really hot. Hear that? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> anyway, let's have a quick look at what power that's producing. Okay, I've connected that up in series with the ammeter and it's giving out 75 milliamps. So we've got 75 milliamps from our burnt chalk on that Peltier device and it's around about 2, volt, two volts or so and it's giving it quite some speed, you can really feel it. Anyhow, that will continue to run as long as there's a temperature difference between the top and the bottom. And of course, what we've got here is a hot mass. So adding the water gets that warm and it will continue to produce as long as that stays warm and this stays cold. So a really cool way of directly producing electrical energy from quicklime. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you because Peltier devices are wonderful things and the efficiency is going to be pretty cool. Well, see what I did there? I thought I'd share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.